Because if men suffer in silence, why am I always hearing about it? While we thought we were done with the conversation of there versus men, it turns out that there are still some men who are still unable to accept the fact that women have solid points as to the reason why they are picking this bear over a man in the forest. There are still some men who are struggling to accept some of the things that women are saying and they don't have a better thing to counter attack them and you know make a very solid point. They decided to start their own trend and this particular one is even so funny. This guy started and said that would you rather tell your feelings, pour your heart out to a woman or a brick wall and these people start stitching and the stitches are just very funny because why do you think a woman has to be the emotional one to sit down and listen to all the things that you have to say? This has sparked so many conversations. Some women are even duetting to it and saying please pick the brick wall. Please we are begging you people to pick the brick wall because it's not even the same talking to a brick wall or talking to a woman comparing the harm that women are subjected to in the hands of so many men like how are you even gauging that how are you weighing it and how does it make sense to you this has sparked a conversation and i am going to roll the clip without wasting much time let's get right into it for the fellas would you rather tell your feelings to a brick wall or to a, <laughs> a fucking brick wall easily it won't degrade me it won't cut me off mid-sentence it won't tell me that my thing is little it won't make fun of me for having feelings. It's not going to force itself to cry in order to win an argument. So yeah, give me that brick wall. I need it. Would you rather tell your feelings to a brick wall or to a woman? Please pick the brick wall. Because if men suffer in silence, why am I always hearing about it? Would you rather tell your feelings to a brick wall or your girl? The brick wall every time. My wife gonna see this shit and get mad, but I already told her this a long ass time ago. There's some things you can talk about to your girl, but you gotta you gotta choose wisely. I've always been a nonchalant guy, right? So one time I was with a girl and she was like, oh, I wish she was more emotional, blah blah blah. So I was like, at the at the all the begging and shit. Eventually, I was like, all right, I'll I'll be a little vulnerable. You keep asking, I guess you really care, and you know. It felt good at the time because us guys, we don't have many people to tell some of our like really inner thoughts about to be because of shit I'm about to explain to you in a second. So, man, when we got into an argument one time, threw all that shit back in my face, yo. Bro, when I say even my mom has done this shit, bro, my mom has done this shit from time to time. Let me forget to take the trash out one time. Yeah, that's why that one time, blah, 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 I'm like, yo, you serious, bro? In my opinion, it's only about four people you can be vulnerable with, and some of these could be the same people. Number one, your boys, to an extent, but even when you're, like, you know, telling your boys some deep shit, you know, they're going to clown you right away and get it over with. Like, they're going to rip the band of y'all, clown you, then give you some good advice. You're not going to be like a girl that's going to freaking hold that shit in a vault and use that shit to weaponize against you whenever you piss her off. Number two, a therapist. Number three, a stranger, which, like I said, could be like basically the same people. Or number four, a woman acquaintance that you don't care about at all. Because when it comes to us guys, the only people that can hurt us emotionally is the people that we care about the most, yo. Ever since the man or bear conversation was popularized by women on TikTok, there has been a popular counter reaction from men regarding would they rather speak to a woman about their feelings or a tree about their feelings. I want to start off by saying that this is not an apt comparison. First of all, the idea of you'd rather talk to a tree than a woman is framing it as a partner, which the man versus bear conversation is not. The man versus bear conversation is about a random man and a random bear and taking your chances about which one might be more dangerous for a woman to encounter. The conversation of speaking to a woman about your feelings or speaking to a tree about your feelings touches on the idea that men are often mocked for showing vulnerability. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that isn't true. Yes, there are a lot of very awful standards that men are expected to live up to. However, comma, those standards are not women's fault and it is not women's responsibility to fix them. It is men's responsibility to fix them. Why is the hypothetical tell your feelings to a woman or to a tree? Why can't you tell your feelings to a dude, to a man, to your friends? 
why don't you feel comfortable having these conversations with your friends? It isn't women's responsibilities to hear you out, to take on your emotional burdens. Now, you might want that from your partner. In fact, you might expect that from your partner. But again, this conversation is not framed about partners. The man versus bear thing is random man, random bear. So if we're talking about a random woman that you're telling your feelings to, why are you telling your feelings to a random woman? And if it's not a random woman, why don't you go tell your feelings to your friends? Again, it is not an apt comparison, and I don't want to sound like I am taking away the real problem that is men's suicide rates. But again, we as men should be speaking to each other and not only expecting the full emotional burden of everything that we think to fall on female partners. Obviously, I'm gay, so that doesn't really count for me, but speaking here to the heterosexual brothers, it is super fine and dandy for men to discuss the troubles of men. That is totally fine, but we do not have to wait until women bring up very valid problems about how men treat them for us to turn around and say, but what about the men? What about the men? We can talk about these things amongst ourselves to women without it having to be a reaction to something that they're telling us. And if you are not interested in having these conversations outside of it being a rebuttal to women, then you are not interested in these conversations at all. You are simply interested in not listening to women. And if that's where you're coming from, you need to do a lot of thinking before you start trying to have these conversations at all. For the fellas, would you rather tell your feelings to a brick wall or to a wall? I'm just throwing this out here. It's not about if you'd rather communicate your feelings to an actual person or a brick wall. It's about if you'd rather scream your feelings into the uncaring void. And here's the thing, when it comes to people, regardless of gender, you're better off just screaming into the void. The void may stare back eventually, but it's still not going to judge you. What do you guys think about the question that this creator threw out to the men? And what do you guys think about those stitches? I agree to one of the things that the stitch said. The man, I think the, the second to the last stitch, the man that mentioned how it doesn't seem like you really want to have this conversation. You're just starting this conversation because you want to attack what the women are saying and what they have been talking about and how they have been so loud on how they are not safe around these men like you don't seem to want to have this conversation you just feel hurt by what these women are saying and that is come like you are attacking on them and you're just having this conversation because of that so even your own reason for asking that question is not genuine because you literally just want to attack the people who are picking the bear over a man and i love how you mentioned that it is not a woman's responsibility to fix that the truth is everywhere we see this conversation of men should not pour out their hearts because the moment they pour out their hearts to women, women are going to use it against them. There are so many men as well who do that to women. So it's not something that is very new. But the fact that these people cannot agree and just accept the fact that women have solid reason as to the as to why they are choosing this bear over men to have this real conversation is even crazier let me hear what you guys think about this video let me hear your take about the stitches as well and i will catch you guys in the next one